actually a good break I've shot that. Saying in the mid-session interval there in the studio that uh, you know it's not as if he hasn't had opportunities. He has had them, but they're not coming along all the time. I mean, he got in first in a couple of the frames, but he lost. Clearly a gulf between the real top players in this kind of environment and players who are just below, but everyone that's here has won an event. And I guess a young player's got to try and bridge that gap. Which is not easy. A bit of a tempter here, they've had to the left middle. Not saying it's easy, he's looking at something else to perhaps take the cue ball up to bulk. But if he was to play to bulk, he'd have to move the other red, so he might find himself in a position where he may have to go for this one. The cue was heading up somewhere towards the yellow. Pop wasn't guaranteed, and nor was position. Now, and the cannon to yellow has left this red to the right middle. One. Right from year one of this champion of champions, Ronnie O'Sullivan clearly felt it was a tournament he could get on board with. Of course, he's won it three times, twice runner-up, looking for his sixth final in nine appearances. Six. Seven. Well, he certainly made sure he got top side of the blue. He's gone a little too far, in fact. Of course, the table it won't be to his liking with the black tied up, but he's trying to find ways to engineer. That into open play. A little grimace. He's not on it particularly. Feeling to get onto a colour from here. He's a bit straight. That's probably as far up the table as he could have managed, but the, with the yellow away from its spot, uh, the up and down not so difficult. Which ready plays on though from the left side, not a great deal will go. Oh, it's a great effort to finish on that. Red left-handed, but he just came a little bit too far to the right. That's why he's using the rest. Ninety. Not an easy table still.
playing some good shots. That was a nice cannon once 25. again on that pink. Twenty six. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. It's a bit thin on the blue to play into the reds. It's not a natural angle. He could make it into it. He's done quite well to make as many as he has from where the balls have been. That's another top shot, isn't it, positionally? A break that seems never to end. Just when you think it's about to. 39. Well, he might go into the reds here. He's got an angle to disturb them. Got to force it. This time, the break is over. 45. Made some brilliant breaks in his career. This 45 break hasn't been bad, I can tell you. Without anything ever on. Else yeah, 45. in the end, he just needed to get on one, didn't he? Which he didn't. Otherwise, that could have been prime over. Fan really is clinging on by his fingernails here. Different sort of vibe, of course, to when they played in that final last season, because in the final there's a trophy waiting. This is different. This is to get into the final. Crowd have been uh, watching O'Sullivan with great interest and great admiration. And if they have tickets for tomorrow, and it is O'Sullivan Trump, that's going to be some day. A rematch of the world final. Well, I'm lucky. He hit it quite well. Because you've got no control over the red that you miss. He thought it was as fairly safe way to play it. And you see the Reds just double kiss the cue ball and gone close up to the yellow pocket. One. at the very end of it but like you say he's in all kinds of trouble here and it's a horrid snooker we've got to go across the table twice I should think just wonder if there is a way halfway up that right cushion to get into the reds but even then you, know, you don't really want to hit one and leave one on about trying to zigzag the cue ball across left to right and in behind the red down on the black cushion but as I'm saying it I'm not having to play the shot the 
No wonder he's taking a bit of time on it. I think he's got to swerve into the first cushion. It's just horrible. Well, that's a bit of a shame. It was quite a good effort, but well, going that side of the ring is the worst scenario. So, Sullivan 50 to the good with a chance for 4 1. 1. Just been completely business like this evening, look really focused. Because, of course, he knows firsthand how well Fan Zheng Yi can play. Seven. Eight. I think at the very last second he looked at that possibility of that two ball plant. <coughs> the only two reds, of course, available to the left corner anyway. And he needs one more red. 40. So it looks like another frame has gone. Pretty quickly. Having the red cleaned. Yes, he's not making really unforced errors, is he? He's on all departments looking strong. So this is for 4 1. Of course, matches can be won from this position, but it's going to take some turnaround. Fan is going to need some help. He's going to need O'Sullivan to start to. Miss and make mistakes. Which doesn't really look, look like happening. He's fairly aggressive with his shot selection. 21. You know, it, when he's had to play safe, he's done 22. so immaculately. And may have, in a roundabout way, done him a favour that he'd already lost to Fan Zhen Yi. Not going to take him lightly. 28. 29. It could be another chapter in the O'Sullivan-Trump rivalry. It doesn't seem that long, does it, since 35. Ronnie was holding on to Judd in the Crucible at the end of that world final. 36. And he's starting to produce here some of the form that won him that seventh Crucible crown in the spring. Forty-three. Forty-four. Fifty-two. Fifty-five. Ronnie O'Sullivan. So it's a pretty horrible and snooker. Fan found himself in. He left the red. O'Sullivan has made fifty-five. And he needs just two more for victory leading now.